Hey guys, what's up? If you love roller coasters and water slides, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell for more. Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to do the roller coasters that failed the most hard. These roller coasters all failed in my opinion, but I haven't ridden many of them. One of them is impossible to ride. So let's go. Number 10 failed is the Big Apple Coaster at New York, New York Hotel and Casino. This roller coaster sucked. I rode this. It wasn't good. It just wasn't fun. The elements didn't pop. I didn't really think it was rough. I thought it was boring. The restraints were crazy. Whoever designed those really shouldn't design roller coaster restraints. Number 9 are the Vacoma SLCs, located at various parks across the world. These um, piles of garbage, that's what I heard people say, are um, all around the world and they really shouldn't be. These roller coasters are very rough. Some of them can hurt you in different ways. Most of them have the horse collar restraints because you can bang your head on. T3 makes your have makes you have pain in your necks. The only one that's decent is green is um is the Riddler Revenge. That's the only decent one. Number eight is Green Lantern First Flight at Six Flags Magic Mountain. Now V Pair at La Ronde. This roller coaster I heard that it wanted to make your eyes pop out. So yeah, it was also it was also boring. So, yeah. Number seven is Mean Streak at Cedar Point. Now, Steel Vengeance. This roller coaster originally had brakes on the drop. And then, turn, 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 turn. More turns, and it's done. It was also very, it was also pretty rough. I watched a lot of POVs, all of them very rough. Number six is Hypersonic XLC at um, King's Dominion. This roller coaster, I heard it was awesome, but it um, it had a lot of high maintenance. It had high maintenance costs, and um, and the design was really pointless. The car, it kept breaking, so um, King's Dominion ended up getting rid of it. Number five is Batman and Robin the Chiller at Six Flags Over Texas. This roller coaster, I heard it sucked. It had, it used a ton of power, very rough, and it broke down a lot. So it's, it was just a win-win to remove it. Number four was Vertigo at Wallaby Holland. This roller coaster was not reliable and wasn't open for a long time. It wasn't reliable. People said it was good, but it wasn't reliable. Most of the time when you rode on it, you were lucky to get a complete ride. Number three is Orphan Rocker, some park I don't know about. The only reason I heard of this was because of the roller coasters that were closed the most. So, yeah. Orphan Rocker never opened, so I don't have a lot of information about it. Number two is Flashback at Six Flags Magic Mountain. This roller coaster s would suck. If you rode it at Six Flags Over Texas or Six Flags Over Georgia, you would know it as a Z Force. But ma when Magic Mountain got it, it was already re relocated two times. And it, it was very rough. So yeah, number one, the most failed roller coaster of all time is Windjammer at Knott's Berry Farm. This roller coaster was not fun, uncomfortable, very rough, and was very short. It was a, a Knott's Berry Farm did not like it at all. It's a good thing that they replaced it with Accelerator. I mean, like yeah, Windjammer sucked. That is the end of today's video. Make sure to like, comment, I mean, no, don't comment, share, subscribe, click here or here, and this is Coaster Slide signing off.